Hello, this is Eric from the Arojo Productions, showing you how to do voiceover commentary on some of your videos. First, open up Google Chrome to this web page called Audacity. All right. Now, Audacity is a sound editor slash voiceover maker. Now, I don't really use this, but it's good to have. So, if I were you, I'd click on the beta. Alright, and click right here, download. Um, right here, installer. Because if you have Windows 2000 XP or Vista, click right here. It's not, oh wait, save. And I'll get back to you once it's saved. Alright, it's done saving. So click right here, run, and I used to have this only I uninstalled it so I can actually show you how to do it. Okay, next, next, by the way, don't read this, it's too long. Next, and you probably want to create a desktop icon, so yeah, and install. Now this takes very little time, at most 20 seconds. See, it's it's already done. It's just incredible. Right next, and launch it. I'm gonna close Chrome. Oops. Alrighty, and okay. Now it already begins a new file for you. So don't click here on new, cause wow, it'll create a new a it's a new window. See, number two, I only had one. Alrighty. And just delete this one. Now, if you want to record your voice, click right here on the record. I'll show you a little video demo with me doing some commentary later, okay? Um, so I'll get back to you once I've done that. Now, here it is. Right here. All of this. And let me take out the commentary on Hypercam so I can show you how it sounds. Test, test, one, two, three, test, test, booger face. Oh, yeah, you've seen that. And, if you know, and as you notice, there's some parts right here where I didn't say anything. This is what you do you get your mouse and you highlight those parts. Then you click on delete or backspace, and what do you know? It's gone. Now, also right here, delete, gone again. You know, you might want to delete some of the parts that don't have audio in them for your commentary. Maybe or maybe not, I don't know. And you'll know those parts because they won't have these huge waves that they make when you record your audio. So, right here is just a little pause, talk, pause, talk, pause, and so forth. Then you go right here to File. I would recommend using a Save Project As. And just save it. Oh, whatever. Go to Export. Just enter any name. Um, Alright, I named my tutorial test, as you can see. Alright, now click Save. And this thing will pop up. I, I'm pretty sure you don't need, even need to do this. Nevertheless, even think about it. So save it. Now go to the place which you downloaded to my documents. Now, as you can see, it's right here. Tutorial test. And I'm going to take off the commentary again to show you how it sounds. Now, as you saw, it was in a WAV format. So, what you want to do is you open up your movie creating thing. Hold on. Your movie maker or video editing program. I'm going to use movie maker since probably all of you have it. And import audio and music. And I'll go to the location. Local disk. Files. Audacity modules and here we go tutorial test 
and it's imported. And because it's a WAV file, Windows Movie Maker can read it. However, if you go right here, click click save, it's going to be an a dot .aup, which only Audacity can read it. And most likely, nor can Windows Movie Maker can't read it. Well, it's just an AUP file. Now, you don't necessarily have to use Audacity to do this. Um, you can go, if you have a program like Sony Vegas, you know, if you have a program like Sony Vegas Pro 10 right here, you can easily make regular voiceover commentary. You'd be surprised how easy it is. So, I'll get back to you once it loads up. Okay, so I'm back. And here's Sony Vegas. Now, if you want to make a video, a commentary, or voiceover, click right here, insert audio track. Now, I don't know if other video editing programs can you do this, but I'm just using Sony Vegas since it's the one that I have to use to edit videos, and in my opinion, it's the best. So you insert your audio track. You click right here to record, and it'll be like this. And just let me make one real quick, and I'll get back to you later. Alright, I'm back. And once you've done recording it, it should pop up this record file. If it didn't turn out the way you want, delete it. Or you don't like its name, rename it. Other than that, I'm done. As you saw, um, it just made a voiceover. And that's how you add commentary. And I'll show you something real quick. Let me look for a video, my videos. And I'm just going to put something out of Dead Space. Um, hell, why not? Alright, and this is going to pop up with the Dead Space thing. Now, you know it's yours, because it's red. Duh. So, click right here, delete, and I'll show you. Test, test, blah, blah, test, test, blah. As you saw, it made a voiceover. I prefer using Sony Vegas rather than Audacity, since it's way easier. Again, I don't know if all or any other movie editing software uses this type of method but at least we all know that Sony Vegas does if you want to use Sony Vegas I'll try to make a video of it I'll just I'll just uninstall it and make a video on how to install it and remember midget says goodbye